Hello, we are out here at 17645 Ionia Court in Lakeville. A twin home and a cul-de-sac. Um, we are looking generally southwest at the house, so let's take a look west. And north to the entrance to the cul-de-sac off 176th Street. And across the street. Kind of looking back south at the neighboring building, the neighboring house with the shared driveway, and we'll go look at the property. The driveway looks pretty average for what we can see, not too cracked. Um, this house is not in an association, so the exterior maintenance would be the responsibility of each individual homeowner. Stepping back to see if we can't get a little bit of look at the roof. It's level enough, we can't really see the shingles. From the naked eye, they look in decent enough condition. Um, kind of the side yard, kind of a pie-shaped lot going back towards there, and the car that you just saw drive by, that is Ipava, or Ipava. So the garage door has taken some moisture. You can see the apron is kind of cracked along there. Um, where the uh, concrete is sunk in, and probably some water pooling around the base of the uh, garage door. Um, some of the soffit is falling down, and uh, there are some gutters. And that on the front is a newer window. Um, haven't gotten a lot of snow this winter, but what we have is still on these steps. So we can use this in a liability case if anybody happens to go sliding down there. Um, you can see we've got vinyl siding on um, this little trim place or, or sill right here. Um, the paint's all flaked off of there and the wood's kind of deteriorated. So we walk in to the living room. And from where we stand, we've got the front window right there, the side window, and uh, that would be the informal dining area, and the stairs up to the two bedrooms. So, no little closet as we walk in, just this little little space. Kind of go back, look at the room from different directions. Not huge, fairly bright. It's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. I think the sun coming in a little. So we'll look out the front window. Um, that's the cul-de-sac, the driveway. And from this corner of the room, we've got Front window, door we came in at, stairway, um, a little fake fireplace, the console, and uh, the stairway down to the garage in the lower level, the dining area. Let's go to the dining, we'll look out the side window. Um, again, that's Ipava back there, and this is the neighboring property, All right on the side yard. And uh, got some woods in the back that we'll see. The windows are Marvin windows, which is a good brand, but obviously they are um, old. Um, most of the windows are these wooden sliders. Uh, the front ones are new, newer uh, vinyl um, off-brand windows, but um, got a sliding glass door to the backyard. So here's where we came from into the kitchen. Pretty decent size kitchen with a large island, some bar stools there. Um, not a bad setup, um, but this is probably the largest useful space um, in the house is that kitchen area right there. The cabinets look to be in really good condition. Um, they're surprisingly good condition, I should say, but they appear to be um, laminate um, on some type of cheap wood underneath, but they look decent enough. Um, for my countertop, there's a view out to the back. Again, we kind of got a deep pie-shaped lot, um, which I'm not sure if that's good or bad for um, who's going to be dwelling uh, in a twin home. A half acre lot. Let's go look on the deck here. Um, so that would be the access to the garage right there. And then a the little fence separating us from the adjoining unit. Um, here's the view of the backyard. House slope or the yard slopes back towards the house. Cars um, on a pava driving by at the top of that hill. And uh, 
these trees are kind of sitting at the top of that slope on the deck. It's the, wood, the wood is pretty rough. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get a look around the corner. So yeah, backyard. Going back in. Kitchen. And let's uh, let's head upstairs first. We got two bedrooms and a full bathroom um, upstairs. So we go around the corner, up these stairs, this little landing. Go to the left. This right here in the back of the house would be the larger of the two bedrooms. Uh, just got a little ceiling fan, blue paint, a bunch of um, stickers where stuff used to be taped on the wall. Um, Two closets, uh, more of these old Marvin wood slider windows. They're probably original to the house and view to the backyard. Um, pretty good sized room here. The uh, MLS report says 15 by 11. I guess that seems probably legitimate. Carpet is is actually not that bad. It's hard to hard to say. It's kind of worn. Um, just set off against this. Uh, this messed up paint. It's hard to tell if it's, if it's good or bad. Um, we go into different carpet in the uh, the hallway in the main level. Uh, look at the second bedroom now. Kind of a similar situation to the first. I take back what I said about the other one being the larger bedroom. They will both appear to be 15 by 11. Um, this one's on the front of the house. And again, we got the double closets. Look out the window here. More of the wood, Marvin. Um, Sliders, probably can't tell if they're double pane or single pane, but there's a view out the front. Um, and if you can look, you can even see maybe that's where the storm window goes. But the uh, like the window sills and the window frames on the exterior are pretty, pretty worn. Um, but this is this other room? We've also got a bathroom in between, a little closet, a little. This would be, I guess, the coat closet. And in here we've got some sticky tile floor. Some of this brass light fixture. And this big mirror. Um, old Formica, fake marble Formica style. Countertop, there's a toilet. And we've got the tub insert, which to be which appears to be a solid fiberglass tub insert with this crazy, crazy shower head and that. So um, another little closet in here for towels and such. But that is the uh, bathroom. And then we go downstairs. So that's it for beds and baths. Here's kind of like the top of this landing here. It's kind of weird. Go down. around the outside of the space. And then we've got a walkway to the lower level. Midway we'll find the garage. I dim in there, I do have the light on. Let's see what we can see. The fluorescent light has heated up. We can see a little more. There's a garage door to the back, a little workbench, crazy blocked off window for some reason. A concrete wall between us and the other unit. So it's a two car garage, it's quite deep. Um, so you do have this extra section back here, I guess, for storage and these shelves. Um, fairly low ceiling because of what I assume are the heating ducts, maybe the plumbing upstairs. Um, so, and, uh, not too wide side to side. You see that that standard garage door just goes nearly right to the edge on both sides. But, but a fairly deep garage. When you look back, runs the, uh, the width of the house. Down to the lower level, and we've got just kind of a little common area here um, with uh, just a little basement style window here, some more heating ducts interfering with the ceiling height. Um, that would be the utility room, the side window. Um, so, we got this room, let's see what it calls it. Uh, it's called the family room, claims it's about 16 by 14. Seems to be logical, um, but fortunately, I just got this little window here. 
um, because of the grade of the yard runs right up to this window. So this would need to be uh, dug out as an egress if somebody were to live down here. Maybe a closet over there. So this could potentially be another bedroom space, but you'd have to walk through it in order to get to the laundry. And this room itself possibly could be a bedroom, but for the fact all the utility equipment is in here. So let's go in here. Um, there's a drain. And uh, we got a larger window looking out into the backyard here underneath the deck. And then when we look back, the door we came in at, we've got a crazy little sink here. I, I don't think it's hooked up. I think it's just sitting there. Um, medium age furnace somewhere around here. I imagine there's a water heater maybe behind the furnace. We'll check. So we got the washer and dryer here. Um, and with the ductwork and with the uh, support here, for the stairs, I'm not sure how this room potentially could be rearranged. When you look and you see the width that you've got to work with, if you kind of crammed everything over here, maybe you could potentially carve it into another room. But the problem is you've got this window um, carved out of the concrete foundation that I'm not sure how that would be dealt with. If it could be slid over, if you could put a wall over here. But as you see with the bin and the washing machines, they're kind of interfering with that plan. So I'm not sure how much space would be left. We'll take a quick look around, give some idea. There's the uh, floor drain back in the corner. It's a water heater, um, duct work. Um, plumbing. The electrical box right next to the window there. So not sure how much this could be rearranged and turned into a room. Because again, you've got the furnace sitting right there, the water heater behind it, all the ductwork emanating, emanating, what am I saying? <laughs> Coming from that spot, uh, excuse me <laughs> for using words. Um, you got the support for the, uh, the stairway. So I'm not sure, um, doesn't seem too wet. Uh, I don't see any drain tile basin in here, but uh, this is a big, large, either storage area or waste of space depending on how you want to look at it. But heading back up at this room with that window. And uh, yeah, popcorn ceilings, ductwork, little basement window. A few steps up to the garage. And a few steps up to the main living room. corner of the backyard and the kitchen. In the kitchen would be the nicest, most functional, useful, and spacious part of this house. Um, but again, this has been 17645 Ionia Court in Lakeville. Thanks for watching.